Welcome to the 8th grade math homework helper series. Tonight's homework is review one and two step equations. We'll start by taking a look at question number six. The directions ask, solve and check, show all work. So we have for number six, m minus 4.5 equals 23. So we're trying to solve for m and whenever we want to do that, we want to get m on one side of the equal sign and all the other information on the other side of the equal sign. And so in this particular problem, we're going to start by doing the opposite of what's here, which is negative 4.5. And we're going to add 4.5 to both sides. And once we do that, these 4.5s are going to cancel out. And it's going to bring m down. And then on this side, we're going to add 4.5 to 23. And that's going to give us 27.5. So m equals 27.5. And now we need to check that to make sure that it actually works out. The way that you check it is you take the original problem, you substitute for m what you found to be the answer. In this case, it's 27.5 minus 4.5. If you do the subtraction, it does equal 23. 23 equals 23. So our check works. Next, we'll take a look at question number 8. So we have x over 4 plus 7 equals 18. Once again, we want to get x by itself. It's going to take a couple of steps to do that. But the first step I'm going to use is to subtract 7 from both sides. And that's going to eliminate this plus 7 from this side of the equal sign. So the x4 will come down. And if we subtract 7 from 18, we get 11. So that brings us to step two, because we still have a four that we are dividing by here. And so in order to get rid of that, we need to multiply by four. And so since it's set up as a fraction, we need to set our four up as a fraction. So we have four over one and x over four. Now as cross products, you can see the fours are going to cancel out. The one times x is going to leave you with one x or x. And then we do 4 times the other side as well, because whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do on the other. So we multiplied by 4 over here, which eliminated the 4 and gave us x. We multiply by 4 over here, which is 4 times 11, which gives us 44. So now we have x equals 44, and we're going to plug it back into the original equation for our check. So the original equation was x over 4 plus 7 equals 18. We now know x equals 44. So if we take 44 over 4 plus 7 equals 18, this can be reduced to 11. 4 goes into 44 11 times. 11 plus 7 equals 18. So the check works. For the next problem, we're going to take a look at number 10. For number 10, we have 2.5m minus 11 equals 10. So the first thing we want to do is to eliminate the 11. So we add 11 on both sides. That's going to cancel the 11's out over here. And it's going to give us 2.5. This is just going to come down. Equals 10 plus 11, 21. So at this point, the 2.5, which we want to get rid of so we can have the m by itself, is being multiplied by m. So to get rid of it, we need to do the opposite. So the opposite of multiplication would be division. And so we're going to divide both sides by 2.5. And that's going to eliminate this 2.5. And I'm going to bring the m down. And if I divide, as you can see here, 2.5 by 21. Remember that when you're dividing with a decimal in the divisor, it has to be moved. You can't leave it sit here. So we're going to shift this over and it's going to become 25. And we have 210 because we had to move it over. So now we have 2.5 into 210. We have 25 into 210. And 25 goes into 210 eight times gives us 100 
it gives us 10, and then we bring the 0 down, which makes 100. 25 goes into 100 4 times, so it's 8.4. So that's how we get 8.4. And now that we know that m equals 8.4, we can go ahead and stick that into the original equation and check it out. So we had 2.5m minus 11 equals 10. We're going to substitute for m 8.4. So we have 2.5, parentheses, 8.4. That means that we're multiplying them. Minus 11 equals 10. So we'll multiply this first. 2.5 and 8.4 equals 21. Minus 11 equals 10. And 10 equals 10. So the check works. Okay, last problem we're looking at tonight is number 12. We have negative 2m plus negative 12 equals 14. So this double sign should jump out at you. That one of the first things we need to do is to fix that. And so basically this is the same as, remember, if it's positive and negative, it becomes a negative. So this is negative 2m minus 12 equals 14. And since it's negative 12, we want to get rid of the 12. We're going to add 12 to both sides. And that's going to bring the negative 2m down, the equal sign down, and then we go ahead and follow the the signs here, 14 and 12 is 26. Now the negative 2 is being multiplied by the m, we're going to need to divide by negative 2 on both sides, and so that's going to isolate the m, and over here it's going to give us negative 13. And we can go ahead and put m into the equation, so we have negative 2m plus negative 12 equals 14. We go ahead and substitute for m, negative 13. Negative 2 and negative 13, two negatives, are going to make a positive, and it's positive 26. The plus and the minus, remember, just go to negative, so it's negative 12 equals 14. And then we have 26 minus 12 equals 14, and 14 equals 14. So the check works. Please use the problems that were done for you tonight to help you to solve any additional problems that are on your homework. And remember... The key to success in math is not only working hard, but working smart.